What's up guys? Today's video is going to be on the bent neck lady from the Haunting of Hill House. Obviously this is my take on her. She doesn't look this creepy in the show, but I wanted to make it a little bit more intense. I also want to apologize for my voice as well as my overall demeanor in this video. I'm very sick. <laughs> I don't know if I have fully explained, but I kind of rearranged the way that Ashtoberfest was going this year and made some last minute adjustments, kind of scrapped some videos that I wasn't 100% happy with. And so we're in like real time now. I am filming every day and editing every day. For the last week of Ashtoberfest, I have decided just yesterday to scrap the final videos that I had and kind of refilm some other things that I think would be cooler instead. So that's what's going on. If you haven't already binge watched the Haunting of Hill House on Netflix, you definitely should. It was so good. Not that scary. I mean, kind of. It gave me anxiety a little bit and I almost shit my pants at one point, but it's a very good show. I also wanted to show you guys where I got the inspo for this. I talked about it more in the beginning, but this look is by an artist named Natasha. I've had this look saved in my phone for so long, she just reposted it. So I saved it again, and I just finished The Haunting of Hill House like yesterday or the day before yesterday, so I really wanted to do a bent neck lady look. Obviously she doesn't look this scary in the show, but I wanted to make it a little bit more scary. So this is what I created. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already and check out the other Ashtoberfest seasons down below. I linked playlists. You can also comment on today's Instagram photo if you'd like to enter today's giveaway and I will be choosing winners at the end of the week once Ashtoberfest like on Halloween will be the last day. So that's when I'll choose the final winners. You can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter or check out my merch which is linked down below. The Ashtoberfest stuff is going pretty quickly. So be sure to check that out and let's go ahead and get into this tutorial. Yes, I should put this messy ass hair up. My goodness. So first, I'm gonna apologize for my voice. <clears throat> I'm gonna apologize for how many times I clear my throat. And I'm also gonna apologize for how many jump cuts there are for when I take breaks to cough my lungs up and drink water. <laughs> I'm very sick so I apologize but I didn't want to miss a day so I'm still going to be filming. Obviously here I am. I'm going to be doing the bent neck lady. You guys already saw the intro. I don't know why I am talking right now. <laughs> I have my reference photo here that I saved. This is from an artist named Natasha on Instagram. I'm going to link down below so you guys can find the art and I've always wanted to recreate this but never knew what to call it. I mean, it could just be a ghost, and I really wanted to do a ghost this Ashtoberfest, but I didn't have the right inspo, if you guys know what I mean. Like, I had an idea of what I wanted to do, but anyways, I've been binge watching The Haunting of Hill House on Netflix. I'm, I love it, it was such a good show, I've already finished it. But anyways, I really wanted to create this, so I'm gonna go ahead, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and prime using my Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. I'm so sick, you guys don't even understand. I am gonna leave my eyebrows as is, and I might cover them in white, I might do them normal, I don't really know. I have gotten a few comments about, well, first of all, I'm gonna take the Makeup Forever white shade right here. I have gotten a few comments about this Ashtoberfest sucking, <laughs> which I mean is pretty much all I dealt with last year, which is why I was so like unmotivated to do it again. But the reasons that the people have given aren't good reasons to me, you know? Let's see what this looks like. I might want it to be a little gray. I'm gonna add the tiniest little smidge of black. This is what I'm working with down here. And I'm gonna mix this and see what I get. Much better. Anyways, I've gotten comments saying that Ashtoberfest sucks this year. Usually I don't let comments like that get to me. <clears throat> and I've just been um, blocking people who are just being mean. Some people are like, oh, this is constructive criticism, but it's just like you're being mean. 
I don't think they understand what constructive criticism is. I'm gonna take my beauty blender. So yeah, I've been just deleting, but there's been a few people who have just been like so mean. And so I try not to pay attention to those, but I know that they still watch because there's this one person in particular that went off in the beginning of Ashtoberfest and was just like talking so much crap about me in general. And then they're still like, I, first of all, I commented back and I was like, um, you don't have to watch, like just go on with your day and don't watch my videos. That's literally solves all the issues that you're talking about here. And um, they're still commenting. <laughs> so they're still watching, I don't understand. I don't understand like the concept of getting upset over free content. Like I'm, you're not paying me to do Ashtoberfest. This is something I do because I like it most of the time. And um, complaining about it just doesn't like make any sense to me. But go off, I guess. There's one person who wrote this long paragraph about how I'm taking the easy way and I'm making all these looks pretty instead of scary. But you know, this is my third year doing Ashtoberfest. I'm gonna take this down my neck too. This is my third year doing Ashtoberfest and my experience has been that when I do something scary, it doesn't do as well and nobody recreates it because it's a little bit more challenging not saying that you guys can't recreate something that's challenging, but that's just been my experience. When I do like a full body paint or something, it doesn't do as well as other ones. So I really wanted this year to be about things you can recreate, things you wanna wear to like a work party or I don't know, your friend's Halloween party. I think we've all seen Mean Girls. Like we know that not everybody wants to go out and look scary. Like most people wanna dress up and look cute. So. To that person who tried to delete their comment so that I wouldn't see it, but I still got an email about it, <laughs> I would like to offer you some advice, and that is if you don't like what I'm doing, there's so many other channels that do challenging looks. You've got Glam and Gore, you've got Made You Look, you can go watch old Robbie D. Christie Halloween videos, she's done so many cool looks. Uh, Jordan Hans, who isn't on YouTube anymore, but she has so many Halloween videos and special effects and like body painting videos. So just go watch them. Like, that's not what I'm trying to do. This Ashtoberfest wasn't about me trying to do something insane. This was about me creating looks that everybody else can recreate, in my opinion. Things that are pretty easy, um, that still look really cool. And you know, in my opinion, I think I've done a good job, especially with all that's going on. And I'm proud of everything that I've done. So just know that you leave in comments about not liking what I'm doing. It doesn't change what I'm doing. It doesn't do anything. In fact, I would just have deleted it anyways if you're being mean. So this is my channel and I don't wanna read it. Anyways. I'm taking a little bit of the darker gray that I put down the neck and I'm going to contour just a little bit. I am going to be shading a lot with this look. While we're on the topic of comments, I do want to acknowledge all the amazing comments I've gotten because most of the comments this year have been really nice, which I'm thankful for because it's really hard to film this often in this this kind of look like it's not a normal beauty look I'm usually doing a lot of body painting or something in depth like it's not I'm not just getting ready in five minutes you know what I mean so so sometimes it does suck reading mean comments but it means so much to read like the nice comments that you guys leave you have no idea and I feel like this year I've gotten the most support out of any other year so I wanted to say thank you to you guys who are enjoying Ashtoberfest and are nice to me. <laughs> and you guys are the reason I do it. I'm gonna take a little on my nose here. For this gray, I just mixed a little bit of black in to the white paint I was using from the flash palette. 
I'm gonna take some on my chin. This doesn't really matter. I just have extra paint I'm using. And my ears aren't gonna be showing, so I'm not gonna paint them. I feel like you can still see my eye bags underneath all this paint. <laughs> it's when you know you need to go to bed. I'm just gonna add some of my lip balm because my lips hurt. All right, so I'm just gonna set this with a translucent powder and I'm pretty much putting as much product as I can on this brush and then I'm gonna pat it in. Next, I'm gonna take the Creepy Cute palette. I hope you guys aren't tired of seeing this yet. I'm gonna be using the shade Tombstone, which is a gray. Again, you could use a black eyeshadow if you don't have a gray and it should work pretty much the same. I'm just gonna start by kind of mapping out where I want my eye shape to be and all of that. I'm gonna bring it down a little bit. I am looking at my reference picture, kind of going back and forth, just like looking at it and deciding like where I want certain things to be. I am gonna go over this with black, but for now. This woman has a lot of like wrinkly looking lines. So these lines I'm adding up here pretty much just make me look angry, which is good. Kind of blending these out because these are going to go underneath and look diffused. By the way, I'm just using a pencil brush. This is a MAC Synthetic 219. So again, this all doesn't need to be perfect. I'm just kind of mapping out where I'm gonna be laying things and colors. Not colors, I'm gonna be using black. Going in with a fluffier brush, taking that same gray shade and I'm gonna start filling in most of the spots that I'm going to have covered in either black or gray. This is definitely one of those looks that's gonna look really bad until it's done. I'm also just gonna be shading down here a little bit. This is gonna be taken down. So this is probably going to be the most time consuming part of this look is blending all of this gray out. Taking another pencil brush, I'm just going to go ahead and use some black eyeshadow and kind of just tap around some of these spots that are going to be a lot darker. You know what, I'm also going to line my eyes really quick. I'm kind of just going back and forth between black and gray. It's always best to start off with a lighter shade and blend it out, then going in with a darker shade because obviously it's easier to fix once it's a lighter shade. I'm also going to be covering my lid with black eyeshadow. And then to blend out, I'm going back in with the gray shadow. And I'm taking my Sigma Tiny Eyeliner Brush and I'm going to go around and just add some detail lines. I might end up going back in darker, I don't know yet. I feel like I'm not really explaining what I'm doing so much in this tutorial, but I feel like that's because you have to kind of just watch. I can't really go into too much detail, but basically I'm just taking this black cream paint and a tiny brush and I'm going to go around and kind of accentuate, is that a word? I think it is, and all the wrinkles that I want and kind of define some areas over here that I'll be shading in a little bit more. 
So I'm kind of just going around and making tiny little marks. They don't need to be perfect because I'm going to blend them a little bit more. So I will probably just speed this part up. I'm also adding some crackly, veiny textures. I'm also just going around the eyes and adding a little bit more definition to this eye bag that I have going on here. I'm also going to go into the inner corner just a little bit. So that's kind of the shape that I want the eyes to be. We'll go back in and kind of define them a little bit more. The cool thing about using this cream paint on top is that it just adds a lot more definition and it blends out really easily. So if you need to blend something out, you're not gonna have too much of a hard time. Just kind of gonna go back through the middle of these lines and just blend a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and take some more black eyeshadow and just fill in the tiniest bit. I really want this inner corner to be super dark and bring that to the lower lash line. This shirt thing I'm wearing is cutting off all circulation. I also want this outer corner <clears throat> to be pretty dark as well almost like a dead lady halo eye. I'm actually going to take some black eyeshadow and shade this cheek area a little bit. I'm going to be going back over it with more cream paint. I'm kind of going to bring these eye bags down. I'm going to take some of that gray and just go around my lips with it. I'm also going to take some black eyeshadow and just shade in a little bit. I'm also going to take my gray brush and I'm kind of going to go around and just soften some of these cracks that I made. I will go over them again, but I just want them to be a little blended out. I'm going to take this cream paint up to my brow a little bit more because I think I'm just, <clears throat> excuse me, I think I'm just going to leave my brows as is. Maybe not, we'll see. I also wanted to shade here with a little bit of black and I'm kind of going to draw a few veiny looking cracks because I feel like that just makes it look a little bit more spooky. I'm also going to be adding some lines. Just going back in with my little pencil brush that had some black eyeshadow on it and I'm going to shade around some of these new lines again. This look is a lot of back and forth, going back with shading and then coming back in to define. This look takes quite a bit of patience. I decided I'm actually going to take some black paint through my brow. Not too much to define it, but just enough to cover it up and make it look a little smoky. Going back around, I'm just going to define these a little bit again. Just adding a few more details from the photo. All right, the last thing, she also has kind of like a big crack on the forehead here, so I'm just going to draw out kind of what I want it to look like and then fill it in. And then of course draw the little cracks coming off of it. Also going to add a little splatter effect. I personally think this part right here would look better with a black body paint. 
we'll see I might go back in with it for the lips she has like a lot of aged lines right here so I'm gonna go around and do that next I'm gonna go back in with the black body paint in the same brush I'm gonna draw a little crack here There's some splatter around it. I'm gonna go back up here to this one. And then I'm just gonna draw some little splatters up here. I might darken the nose a little bit. Now you definitely don't have to wear mascara or lashes with this look, but I'm going to just because I feel like it's going to add a little something. So I'm going to do that off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, so lashes are on. I did go around and kind of fill in a little bit around like here. I added some more definition here with my body paint. I'm going to add a black lipstick and then I'm going to go around and kind of add some more definition here just because I feel like that's what this needs and I'm gonna speed it all up because I know this video is super long. I'm also gonna have a cough drop in my mouth so don't judge me for what my mouth looks like. Okay, so I pretty much got everything done that I want. I'm gonna go back around with some gray and just blend. I also put this stuff up here because I'm gonna wear a wig and this isn't really gonna show. I just did that in case it does. I'm kind of just adding some gray. Who knows what they're barking at. Sorry, I have a sore throat lozenge in. My throat hurts really bad. <laughs> I'm gonna highlight using the Fenty Diamond Balm. This part is totally not necessary, but I think it's gonna look cute. Obviously, if you're wanting this to be scary, don't do this. Okay, so this is pretty much the face. For the neck, I'm going to age it a little bit. I was planning on adding the broken neck bone right here, but I just went to grab my latex and it's like completely bad, like it's orange. So I wasn't planning on using any latex this year because I didn't want to do any special effects. But I am going to let you guys know if you wanted to do it, you could just grab anything that's like, you could even take an old beauty blender and like cut it right here, latex it on to your neck and then paint over it. Um, there's a ton of tutorials on special effects out there on YouTube. So if you wanted to add something like that, you could. I'm just kind of going to shade it in and see what happens. I know some people are going to be annoyed about that, but... Pausing really quickly to add some aging here. Just taking the same gray shadow. I'm so sorry about my dogs barking, but I cannot yell at them right now. It's gonna kind of age into any wrinkles I already have on my neck. I'm gonna take some black paint. I'm just continuing the way these lines kind of go down my face and I'm continuing that down my neck which adds some aging. I'm gonna go back in. This kind of looks dumb <laughs> over here. I'm gonna shade around it. It kind of looks like a broken bone sticking out. Taking some black shadow, I'm just going to add a little contour almost. I am going to go back in with my diamond balm and just highlight a little bit. So I think it looks pretty. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and throw on a wig and I'll be right back. Alright guys, so this is the finished look. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Sorry I'm so sick and my voice is so quiet and... 
raspy and annoying. <laughs> really didn't want to let you guys down and not upload, so I'm powering through. Hopefully I don't have strep throat. <laughs> Please. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't already watched Haunting of House, House Hill, <laughs> Haunting of Hill House on Netflix, I highly recommend it. It's such a good show. There's only 10 episodes. I almost um, shit my pants <laughs> during episode 8. One of the scariest like parts I've ever seen ever that just like shocked me when it happened. Um, yeah, I hope you guys go check it out. It's a really good show. This hair. Ugh. Anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Don't forget to comment on today's photo if you'd like to enter today's giveaway. You can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And is that it? I think that's it. So I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.